Hello everybody, this is Mickey with Hills Mill Homestead. Today I want to share a woodworking project with you that we can both do together. Now it's an heirloom that I'm sure either you have or your parents may have at home. So stay tuned for that video as we go along and we'll complete an heirloom project together. So during the video, I'm going to also add in some pictures of some previous projects I've done here on the homestead. So I hope you'll enjoy those. So I have an ash log on the mill that I'm going to saw for my project. You know, right now the emerald ash borer is just devastating the ash tree all across North America. And so it could be in the future that we don't have a lot of good ash logs left to make good lumber. So I'm gonna saw this one for my project. And after sawing this log, I've got a tip for you that's gonna save you some money at the hardware store. So you guys sit back and enjoy the video. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up.
So here's the project that I'm going to work on. This is a garden bench. It's seen its better days. And so I'm going to restore it and try to give it maybe another generation of life. And who knows, if it's kept inside out of the weather, it could last two or three more generations. So that's my project is to, to restore this garden bench. And I know that if you look around, you're, you either have one or your parents have or, or maybe your grandparents have one. And pick it up and let's restore it and I'll show you how. Here's the tip that I was speaking of. Now I go back with these carriage bolts with a simple lock washer and a nut. So if you're going to buy enough of these to restore a complete bench, I remember when I first started doing some of these a while back, I went to certain box stores and they sell them individually by the piece. And I believe it's somewhere around 16 to $17 is what it would cost for the hardware to restore this bench. Then I found Tractor Supply. And I'm sure that there's other places as well, but they say they sell the hardware by the pound. And I believe a kit, enough hardware to do another bench, when I bought it by the pound, it was around $9. So that's a pretty good money saving tip, especially if you buy a lot of hardware. So it does pay to shop around. But this is my project. And I've done a few of these you saw in the pictures. And you guys stay, hit that notification bell. And the next video, I'll put out about how we can restore this in the next steps. We've got to remove these slats. You want to keep one or two that are in good shape because you want to use those for a pattern. But we're going to disassemble all of this. We're going to clean up the cast iron ends and we're going to repaint them. And I'll walk you through that process with the next video. Let's take a look at the ash lumber that we saw. This is the eight foot that was in the video that I was oh, saw. Yeah. And it's a duplicate. Now this is some 10 foot ash. And I wanna show you that this first set is quarter sawn. This next set is plain sawn. And this last set is rift sawn. So I wanted to show you that ash. I have a feeling that this ash may be on another video on YouTube one day. But looking at this bench, you can see that it's seen its better days. And I'll take a wire brush and clean all the debris off. I'll use some Wesley's bleach white to spray it down and clean it. And that really lets the paint adhere to it. I'll use a rust olum paint for this one. I think I'm gonna use a black paint. I'm not sure exactly yet, but this is the project that I'm gonna work on. And you guys go out and find your bench. If you can't find one at your house or your parents, go to a flea market, go to a yard sale. You can pick up these end pieces for a little or nothing. And a lot of times they're just straight slats in the back. They pick you up a bench and restore it and you have an heirloom. So thank you guys for watching.